Birds attacking your drone are a major issue when it comes to photographing or doing video for your job, but I have finally found a solution. G'day superstars, in Australia we have a major problem with crows, magpies and seagulls. Magpies are a bird that swoop in the start of the spring, maybe the first month, uh, and they pretty much swoop everything. We call this time the swoopening. But magpies are mainly an issue only when taking off and landing. Once you're clear of their nest, they leave you alone. Crows, on the other hand, gather in three to five birds at a time. And as you're going around with your drone, they will follow your drone the whole time and swoop and try and attack it and knock it out of the sky. The only solution till recently that I found was people saying to just fly straight up. Now that does work when you're taking off and landing because birds can't fly straight up. So you fly up, they circle around. While they're going around, you come down, they get close, you fly up a bit, they circle around and so on and so on until you land your drone. But this doesn't help you if you've got to hold your drone in position for periods of time to take photographs and do video. I'm a real estate photographer and five to 10 times a week, I take photographs of houses and properties. And that consists of me launching the drone, taking photos of the block, and then taking photos all the way around as I circle the property. And that takes you know 10 or 15 minutes at a time and the birds just have a field day with this. And the problem with this, of course, is quite often the drone is out of direct sight and the only time you know birds are there are when they fly directly in front of your camera or when they get that close that the controller vibrates in your hand. I haven't had crows knock the drone out of the sky yet, but it's a matter of time because they have hit the drone a few times and it's settled and leveled itself, which was lucky. So remedies I've tried to make this less of a problem is evasive flying, of course, um, using, I've tied zip ties to my drone, which is, you know, like zip ties to make them look like spikes. I've put different colored tapes on my drone. I've even put googly eyes on my drone to make it look like that they might be looking at the birds and the birds may leave them alone. None of this works. What works is this. This is reflective tape. It's basically like a bicycle reflector, uh, but it's in a tape form. So if you can, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it catches the light and reflects just like a bicycle reflector does. You can get this in many colors and I've tried a few colors, but none of them were that effective. For some reason, red seems to be more effective than anything else. I think it's just because of the aggressive nature of it. I bought this tape on Amazon. The link is in the description if you want to check it out for yourself to this exact tape. The drone I fly is a Mavic 2 Pro by DJI and this is the drone here and I've taped every single corner and spot I could think of that doesn't cover the sensors, doesn't cover the cameras. Uh, I didn't worry about the bottom because birds <laughs> very rarely tack from underneath. As you can see, it looks pretty impressive. The first time I flew it, I was very, very skeptical, but I launched it anyway in the hope that this would work. The crows started circling the drone immediately. After about a minute, after circling a little bit, but not getting too close, they just dispersed and flew away. And I thought, maybe this was just a bit of a fluke, just a bit of luck. Maybe these particular birds weren't interested. So over the next two weeks, I flew the drone five to 10 times a week, like I normally do for my job. And I flew in areas where there are cockatoos. In Australia, cockatoos are a white bird about so big that gather in flocks and swarm things and attack things as a group. But they did the same thing with this. They got close, squawked a lot, and then just flew away. They just lost interest. Later on in the second week, I had a job at the beach. So I flew the drone over the beach and seagulls behaved exactly the same way. They got agitated at the start, had a quick look, and then just went away. Sometimes they would hang around a bit, but they wouldn't get close. But the real test was with magpies. And magpies do not care what color it is. Magpies do not care what the drone is. Magpies don't care what you're doing. They will swoop and peck it. If you're walking under their tree, they swoop and peck you in the head. If you are driving your car, they'll swoop your car. And there was no different with this drone. They did not care about the drone at all, which was really interesting. But they're only an issue when you're taking off and landing. Otherwise, they leave it alone anyway. And it's only one month of the year. So overall, I'm gonna call this a success. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this tape and it works for you, because I'll be curious to see how it works in different parts of the world and with different birds. And check out this video here for some cool Amazon photography gadgets, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.